In this video we're going to look at how Power Apps can navigate to the previous screen. Now you might have an application which has many screens. Um, in fact a lot of the applications you create are going to have more than a single screen. So it's worth thinking about the kind of trail that your users might be using in your app. So you, you kind of anticipate where you, you think they'd want to go and you build that into the application. So in this screen, for example, this is called Browse Screen 1. And when I run it, if I click one of these items, it takes me to another screen. But then I can come back to that previous screen by clicking this button here. And that takes me back. Now, behind that button, there's a, there's a bit of code. So if I click on that icon there, we can see I've used the on select event the same as you would for a button. Um, so when it's selected, when the icon selected, I'm using a command called navigate. And then I put in what screen do I want to navigate to? Well, it's called browse screen one. And here there's an optional parameter here. You could have like a, a transition which is just an effect that uh, when you move from one screen to another it just gives you a little effect and this is like a, a screen tra transition of none but you could also have fade I like to use fade so that's just an effect when you move from one screen to another now if you've got an app which has many screens and most of the apps you create are going to have more than one screen um, then it's it's a good idea to have like a, a main menu because the menu is like a, a, the starting point for any application. It's normally the first screen which people would come into when they load up your app. And then they can click on a button and decide where they want to go. So here's my menu screen here. And I've got three buttons, Add, Update and Exit. If I click on Add, we can see I've used the On Select event again. So when the button's selected, Navigate. What screen do I want to navigate to? Well, it's called Edit Screen 1. Now, if we come to Edit Screen 1, so this is the screen that I click on from the main menu. So once I've filled out all the details on here, or even if I want to go back, I would click this cross here. And behind this cross, there's a slightly different command. And this time I'm not using navigate, I'm using a command called back. And what back does, it remembers the, the last screen that you came from. So in this case, I came from the menu screen. So back is going to take me back to the last screen that I was on. So we can try that out. So I'll click on add. It takes me to that screen. And at this point, the back is going to kick in when I click this cross and it takes me back to the main menu. So instead of using navigate, you can also use back. Here's something else you can do. When you enter your data and then you go to save it, if that save has been successful, you can get the system to automatically direct you back to wherever you want to go. So here's my screen here called edit screen one. It's using forms. If I click on the form, so that it gets highlighted. Now if I select one of the events, what I want to find is the on success event. You've also got on failure, but I'm going to select on success. So here, if it succeeds, if the record succeeds and it's saved, then there's a command in here called back. And that's going to take me back to the main menu. I could also put navigate in there with the name of the menu that I want to navigate to. So let's just try that out. So we come in here. I'm just going to add something at the top. So we click save 
And at this point, if it's successful, if that save has gone through and it's saved successfully to my SharePoint list, then I should be taken back to the main menu because of that back command. And there it is. So it works. Now, if we, if the record did not save successfully, then we also have another event we could use. And instead of on success, we'd use on failure. So if it didn't save the record, then the best thing to do here would be to display a message of some kind. So we would use the notify command. And we could just put in something like the record did not something like that. So it's not going to actually take us anywhere to any other screens. It's just going to display a message at the top of the screen informing the user that the record did not save. So as you can see, just by using the navigate and the back command, Power Apps makes it very easy to go back and forth and navigate between your screens. If you like this video, please click the button to like it, or why not subscribe to my channel? Or you can even download my free Power Apps for Newbies book at www.powerappsfornewbies.com.